It's green, it's moldy. <laughs> Hi, Flower friends. I'm at the nursery today. It is Tuesday, December 27th, and my mom is here, and we're going to start cleaning the cinder blocks inside greenhouse number one. If you missed my previous video, my in-laws and Brad were here yesterday helping clean out this space so that we could start to spread the floor, but mom's here, and she's brought the material to clean. Yeah, there's a clamp there, and there's a clamp on the other side. Ignore the clamps. It's the clampets. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta actually get a broom and sweep it off. First. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I, it's gonna be swept and then sprayed and disinfected and then scrubbed and then painted. I believe that are the steps. Those are, those are the steps. Yeah, I'm gonna get a decent broom. Oh, here's a broom right here. Yeah, there's a broom. There are a few things. You got your air condition? You got your personal air conditioner? Yes. <laughs> so my sister got my mom this for Christmas. It's, it's a circulating air conditioning set that you wear around your neck. To keep cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Work. far, so good. My mama is using a bleach solution. She looked up the right ratio and she's gonna spray it with a one gallon sprayer. After she sweeps it, of course, because there is some loose dirt and honestly some, I guess I would call it like lichen growth. Like lichen, it's like totally lichen. I'm wearing my handy dandy overalls today. Number one, I don't wanna wear anything black. Most of my bottom half wardrobe is black and she's spraying bleach. So, just in case. And I don't really care if I get bleach on the overalls because they are farm pants. Ooh, my father-in-law brought me the other day this landscaping rake. And this is what I'm gonna be using to rake the rock, rake the stone all over the place. And uh, let's get started. Okay, mom decided to work in sections. So she cleaned this first, I don't know what, eight, 10 feet? Not even? Yeah, about 10 feet. And now you're spraying the bleach solution. We're masked up for safety. How's that sprayer going? Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this section now. All right, and then you're gonna scrubby, you're gonna scrapey scrape. scrape. Yeah. Scrub a dub dub. Yeah, that way we got a little lull in the vacuum, so it. Right, it's quite dusty in here from it. Does it look like it come out, it's coming out? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I can see it getting wet. We actually considered using a pressure washer, but we decided because some of the cinder block is super delicate and is kind of already falling apart, we didn't want to risk using any sort of high powered water and actually have it crumble before our eyes. So it's just a couple more steps, a little bit longer of a project, but we didn't want to risk it with any pressure washer. So we're totally fine with using sponges and brushes and getting the job done manually. Looks a lot better. Yeah, What's in the bucket? Water. Just water. My mask is going on a little bit sooner than I expected because uh, mom's using the shop vac and a little bit of dust is flying out as she's um, vacuuming and it's making a cloud of dust in here. So, I'll get uh, in a minute. It's out the car. Yeah, it's just. Uh, for me, it's hard to breathe with the particles in the air, and I'll, I know I'll end up coughing later on if I don't wear this. In the comments of the last video is agreeing with Brad. Yep. Brad doesn't think that there's going to be enough stone to cover the floor. Uh -huh. I think there might be. I think there might be too. So we'll see. The way that I um, had them deliver it was I told them my space. This is the company who dropped the crushed stone and told me how much I would need. And I, they said, well, how long, how wide, how deep? 
Well, on some spaces in here, you only need two inches deep. On some spaces, you need six inches or so. So I gave them an average of four inches deep with the dimensions of the building, and they told me 20 tons of crushed stone would be more than enough. And that's what I have. So we'll see if their calculating abilities are as good as I hope they are. I know it doesn't look like it kind of looks shabby, but it's a huge, it's a huge improvement yeah. compared to like that. Yeah. And that's what it was. And that's what it becomes. All right. This bisque isn't helping me. I keep coughing and I know it's because of the dust particles in the air. So I'm gonna pick up <laughs> this mask and um, put one of these things on and hopefully it'll be a little bit better because I do not like coughing. Okay, well that's it for now. My mom can only do things a couple of hours at a time. We've been here actually, I think about three hours. Uh, my Aunt Jan showed up, my dad showed up, and uh, we were just looking around at things, looking at some electrical work. Actually, I talked to dad about moving this pole. You guys remember I, in my last video, I said I wanted my dad to move this to the beam. This is the exhaust fan, which is what's above the door out here. This is the heater, and I honestly, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. But he's gonna figure all that stuff out and we're gonna move it so that it's on the beam and not floating in the middle, which was fine when the previous owners had it. They had a table here, so they didn't have the risk of hitting their head on this the way that I do now. I got a lot of the stuff raked out. Uh, we're gonna come back maybe tomorrow or the next day, depending on how my mom's feeling. Uh, my mom's having surgery soon, so she's, she actually having hip surgery in a couple weeks. So she wants to get as much done as possible because once she has surgery, she's gonna be out, like out for a good six to eight weeks. So she wants to get as much done here as possible before she goes in for surgery. All right, I'll see you guys when I come back here to get more work done. Day two it is Wednesday, December 28th. I'm rounding the year out by moving more stone. I just finished recording the first part of a Q&A video. My phone's going off. It's Bradley. He's at work. So I am going to continue to move around some stone. My mom's, I don't think she's coming up today. Whew, it's chilly, but guess what? Temps are going up for the rest of the week. We should have a lot of snow melt. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna go start moving some stone. My traps are super sore. Like right here, right here, my shoulder muscles from raking yesterday. I think I might just shovel today because, oh, they're super sore. Whew, this is some good working out. I'm gonna call my mother-in-law and father-in-law they're home right now, they're off this week. I'm gonna see if they can bring me their wheelbarrow. Whew. Okay. Hi. What you doing? Does is Walter have a wheelbarrow readily accessible in the garage that he can bring up for me? Do you have a wheelbarrow readily accessible in the garage that Nicole can use at the nursery? Can you run it up to her? Are you up there now? Yeah. I'm, I'm like raking and shoveling and I know it would just be a little bit easier to move from one end to the other. <laughs> yeah. My car's in the shop, otherwise I'd come get it because my car's at 90s right now, I have no car. I'm stuck. 
my father-in-law is gonna bring it. They only live about five minutes away, so he should be here within the next 15, 20 minutes. He had to get the wheelbarrow out of the garage, so he's gonna drop it off, and then I can move the stone, because I have some spots up here, which is a 50-foot walk, so with the wheelbarrow, I'll be able to move things a little more efficiently. Wheelbarrow delivery. It's tool rental. <laughs> Hauling and services. We deliver. <laughs> ah! Where's my shoes? I have two of them. Oh, it's in the shop. Here in the yard. <laughs> my shoulder. Yesterday I raked all this out with that. That rakes often, by the way. So, like, right here uh -huh. on my back, I started to rake today and I'm like, oh, that's tough. I didn't shovel any of this, I just raked it out. It was nice. <sighs> what did I shovel today? Yeah, I'm gonna go see if there's any landscape fabric in the barn anywhere. Otherwise, I have it at home. Well, I am on the hunt. Ooh, I found it. More landscape fabric. There's some right here in the pile of stuff that we pulled out the other day. So I think that should do it. Yes. I was not expecting my father-in-law to stay in shovel, but he is. <laughs> so I'm not taking the shovel out of his hand. It's going much quicker. Here's the other landscape fabric. That should be enough.
that was awesome. We got so much more done than I ever expected. I did not expect my father-in-law to show up and stay, which was awesome. And he was only here about an hour, and that's how much we got done. I hate to say it, all you Team Brad with whether or not we're gonna have enough stone. I think I might be winning. We will see. We only have a space in that corner, and then we just have to level it out. And we will be bringing in a tamper to tamp it down and to water it then and then tamp it. And then we're, well, first of all, we're gonna level it off. My father has one of those laser levels for rooms. So we're gonna be using that in here. It doesn't need to be perfectly level. The more level it is, the better. And then, let's see. Uh, that's it? That's it. <sighs> this is awesome. It, the space in here feels so much brighter and bigger and airier. And I know, obviously, I still have to have tables put in here, but just the feel of the space when compared to what it was when I took ownership of this building. It feels a lot more customer friendly to me. So that's more aesthetically pleasing, if you will. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Okay, I think I'll probably spend one more day raking and shoveling stone and I think then that will be done and we move on to the tamping and leveling process. Pile is diminishing. Is Brad right or am I right? It's deceptive though, because there's a lot left here. We have that corner to fill, and then leveling out. No. We'll see. Oh, oh man. Unroot the beast. <laughs> Look at it. Twist it, baby. So I get rid of a lot of my roots. Twisty boo. Oh, I hear cracking. Yay! Didn't win. Who are you? Beastly. <coughs> it's the dust. I was walking around the camera. And I just got the rake stuck. It, the, it's a stall tactic, you're right. It's stuck. I just have to take a break. <laughs>